Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back to My View on the View, the podcast where I make that view table relatable. So shout out to everybody listening all around the world. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit today. If you're a new listener, welcome. We've been here now over three years, and I want to let you know my podcasts are done the traditional way to mimic radio. So not only can your hands be free, but so can your eyes. So go ahead and multitask as you listen to me bring you the subject matter for today. So you saw the title. Believe it or not, y'all, people are still talking about Van's appearance on the show. If you look at any of the partisan media, what you would believe is that the worst thing in the country is we have awful people in the other party, whatever party that is, and you can't get anything done in the country until you deal with the awful people in the other party. I think the awful people are a problem. They're a small problem. The big problem is we have so many awesome people in both parties, all races, all parts of the country, awesome people who just don't know what to do. It went viral. Just a couple of days ago, Van made an appearance on Ebro in the Morning, the morning show Hot 97 there in New York. If you don't know who Ebro is, just uh, type it into Google because this podcast isn't about Ebro. So just go ahead and, and find out who he is if you don't know. But I think a lot of us here, especially those of us in a particular age range, we know who Ebro is, or at least we've heard of him, right? He and Van are personal friends. And I can't say that Van is a, no- a regular guest over there, but he's been there several several times and so he was there there like I said a couple of days ago and Ebro asked him about this controversial viral moment on the view when Sonny in particular asked him that very difficult question and I want us to listen together to what he said one of the things that I will say that I loved about what he did over there with Ebro and the team is that he was not disrespectful to Sonny at all. He was very, very respectful. And I will just say that as I've listened to multiple things that Van uh, has done on this uh, press tour he's been doing the last couple of weeks, I'm beginning to understand him a lot better. And I'm beginning to not be so judgmental about what he's trying to do in working with both sides. So listen with me and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. It's Ebro in the morning with Laura Stiles and Ebro Lauren Rosenberg back on the show. Friend, a friend of the show. He is one of the uh, polarizing uh, black men in America right now. <laughs> His name is Van Joe. The fact uh, that you're back here today after what was it last week or two weeks ago, uh, Sonny says to you, and I, I, I saw it in your face when Sonny hosted on The View, said to you, black people don't trust you. You have a switch, and I know you well enough at this point. You have this switch, and it hurts you to hear yeah. that. That hurt you. And I saw you strike back at her, and I thought you did well. Now, once again, talking about how people take, you know, snippets. People posted Sonny's snippet coming for you, and they was very happy to see Sonny come for you, and I get that too. But I was also proud of how you didn't start crying, because I know you wanted to start crying. <laughs> Well, it was a broad thing to say. Oh, I, I, know, I, know my, I know my brother Van, and he is very passionate, and I know he wanted to cry when some yeah. black woman said to him, black yeah. people don't trust you. Yeah. Well, you did a good job. But, but, but let me say something. You're never going to hear me say anything negative about Sunny Haas. Um, they want us to fight. That she did her job. That's her job. She's supposed to ask a tough question, and I was supposed to be able to answer it. Now, when I answered it, and then it was never promoted on the internet. And you saw the algorithms picking up only her question, never my answer. That's the problem. Why is it that one of the few black men in America that can get thousands of people out of prisons gets a tough question, gives a decent answer, but you never saw the answer? Now, and Van, let, that's, let's, that, that's what we have to deal with. And let's cut to the, the, the real heart of this, in my opinion. You are still living down, and I, I was mad at you, so I understand. Sure. You are, st- and we've talked about it before. You are still living down. This is the moment Donald Trump just became presidential. When you said that on CNN after the State of the Union, guys, Van is absolutely right. Sunny was just doing her job. She was just doing her job. But a lot of us know that as an Afro Latina woman, Sunny herself is very, very concerned about these things, and uh, so she sh- and she should be. She should. We'll just say this, y'all, as I end the podcast today, because this was a quick one. You know, one of the other things that Van said with Ebro and the team, and I didn't play this part, he kind of touched on it in the clip we listened to together. But in the very beginning, when they uh, introduced him, one of the things that Ebro said to him was, you know, 
what about these clips that people are not playing of your answer? And that was something that Van was upset about. He said to Ebro and the team that he felt like people like me, people like these big news organizations who reported on the story when it was trending, that we were not fair to him, that we did not play his full answer. Even The View didn't. And if you're on The View's YouTube page or on their Instagram, you know that they played all of Sonny's question, but they only played a snippet of Van's answer. And Van called that manipulating our viewers or our listeners. Well, I'm proud to say that I'm not manipulating anybody. Those of you who are with me, when I first reported on his appearance on the show, you know that I played the full clip because as a vlogger, I understand context is important. I never want to present something here or on my secondary channel that gives you an impression of something that just wasn't true. That's why I don't do clickbait over here. If you see something in the title, I'm going to talk about it. I may not get to it immediately, but I'm going to talk about it. This is a podcast. This is commentary. And so I just wanted to say, you know, I really think that Van is right. A lot of people do try to manipulate their viewers and listeners. But, you know, the other side of that, and this is the pressure that we have as vloggers and people, I think, in the in the big networks, they have the same pressure, is that people don't really want context in this t day and time. They want the hot clip. Hurry up and get to what you're going to tell me. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And they don't really want full context because full context means they got to listen or I got to listen or you got to listen. And then we may not, you know, get all riled up. Uh, as we would if we just saw a snippet of something. So guys, that's what I wanted to share with you guys today, that Van does understand what Sonny was doing. He's not bitter about his appearance. I do believe he talked to the producers, as I said to you, and he felt ambushed. Uh, but as Ebro said, he knows him and it hurt his feelings. And you know, I don't know why it hurt his feelings. I'm not Van. I'm not in Van's life. I don't know what the deal is there. But all I know is, is that I'm okay with Van or anybody else trying to work with both sides. I may not like how they do it. I may not like the pictures that I see on the internet, like him and Candace. I didn't like that picture. But you know, I understand what his mission is. And like he has said multiple times, if he will work with or against anyone to get black men and black women home from prison. And you know what? I, I'm down with that. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in to today's podcast. I enjoy y'all so much. Leave your comments about Van on Ebro's show. When you listen to the uh, when you listen to that clip, what did you think about what he said? And did you really listen in context? You know, I know how some of us are. So what do you think about the full context of what he said there? Guys, I'll catch you on the next podcast. Thanks, y'all. Talk to you later. Bye. Tried hard, but you wanna be my friend. Ain't no place to hide.